All right, so in this question, Mike wants to rotate the yellow triangle around the point so that it exactly covers the blue triangle. All right, here's the yellow triangle and here's the blue triangle. I've actually labeled the points one, two, three, which I'll explain why I've done that in a minute. Around which point on the square grid must Mike rotate the yellow triangle? All right, so rotating around a fixed point. These all need to be fixed points A, B, C, and D. Now, obviously, you've rotated the yellow shape 90 degrees, the yellow triangle 90 degrees, so it'll uh, overlap the blue triangle, uh, so 90 degrees clockwise. Now, the easiest way to do this type of problem is to pick one of the vertexes of the triangle and measure the distance between the point. All right? So for this to have rotated uh, 90 degrees clockwise, the distance from uh, the, the vertex has to remain the same to the fixed point. All right, so for example, if we look at three from A, it's three across, three squares across, and two squares down. All right, now you can see three from to A there is much, much further. So we know it hasn't been rotated around this point. All right, to B, let's try three again. It's one, two, three, four down and three across. Uh, again, you can see B is way further away from three. So again, B is not the correct answer. All right, C, again, try three. It's one, two, three, four, five, six down. And one, two, three, four, it's seven, eight down. So it can't be that. Now, what you'll find when you get to D, because D is the answer, that it will work for all three vertexes. All right, so let's go from three. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight down, and uh, one, two across. Go from three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two across, all right, two across from there. So it works for that. Let's try two, one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four down, and one, two across, two, one, two, three, uh, sorry, one, two, three, four, down and two across all right so you can see the distance is the same one to d it's uh one two three four across and one two three four uh down one one two three four one two three four all right so d is the correct answer because it's the only uh fixed point where the vertex, all three vertexes of the two triangles are in the exact same position, the same distance away from the fixed point. All right, I hope that makes sense to you. So remember, that's an easy way to do it. Label the points, measure the distance. You would have quickly seen it's not A, B, or C.